Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about chromatic threads and what they are used for. As you can see in the description, it says chromatic thread used in the tailor shop, used in designs and costume modifications. So first of all, you want to come to the Silver Frost Mountains, you're going to click on this little plus button over here at Zyway, and you're going to win stride to Gossamer's Inn and walk upwards. You're going to walk up, you're going to see this square over here, and you're going to talk to this merchant right here. He's Yohe Bok, the clothing merchant. Once you talk to him, you'll notice that you can buy costumes with chromatic threads. They do cost 30 chromatic threads, so it's a little bit expensive, but you can get some of the more popular ones, such as Flashback over here. You can also get Pure White, which is also quite popular. You can get Dreamland. You get a lot of really nice costumes over here. However, the more important stuff is each costume, if you notice up here that they have a little shirt symbol, for example, on Dreamland over here, they all have this little shirt symbol. That means that they are customizable. So to customize, you're going to press F3. F3 will open up your showroom, which will allow you to see all your costumes that you own. You simply click on filter and click on owned. You want to find a costume with a little shirt symbol that's lit up. So as you can see over here, this is my custom, uh, custom Dreamland hat, which is customizable because it's got the little shirt symbol on the top left corner of the icon. While the other ones which do not have the shirt symbols mean that these cannot be customized. You cannot customize any of these costumes because uh, they don't have the shirt symbol. However, for example, my benevolence over here, I can customize this if I, if I choose to do so. So keep in mind that you're going to have to look through all the costumes you have and see which are the ones that are customizable. Keep in mind, all the costumes that you buy from the merchant over here are all customizable. However, they will cost chromatic threads in order to buy the costume initially. So we will get 15 of these chromatic threads just by signing up for the event or the bundle thing that, we're that we get for free. So do make sure to go to bladeandsoul.com to sign up to in order to get your 15 chromatic threads. You will not get the chromatic threads immediately. You'll have to wait until March 13 when the patch kicks in then you'll be able to redeem it. So once you've got your chromatic threads, you can press F3 and then right here, there's open wardrobe to try on the item you are inspecting. So currently I'm in, I'm wearing my, uh, I'm wearing the cotton candy outfit. However, the cotton candy outfit is not customizable. However, you can still go into this menu. Just keep in mind that if you don't have the clothes that are customizable, like in this list over here, that you will not be able to change any of the colors. You'll be able to inspect your, your character. However, you won't be able to change any of the colors or change any of the, uh, the patterns. However, let's go here and we'll go to owned. And now you can see these are all the costumes that I own that can be customized. So let's take the benevolence for an example. So this is the Benevolence costume, and I can change here, as you can see that this is not grayed out anymore, because this is a costume that can be customized. So you can change the main outfit, you could change the color, for example, if I want it to be white, or if I want it to be gold, etc. I can change all these colors. And uh, every time you change a color, it'll tell you over here how much gold you'll need to spend and how many chromatic threads. However, you can also change your patterns. So if we look over here, let's say, let's let's make it white so that it stands out more. So you can see over here that now it's a crisscross pattern. You can make it a checker box. You can make it a tiger skin. And there's a whole bunch of little patterns that you can choose from over here. Keep in mind that there's secondary stuff as well. So when you click on the secondary, you'll notice that it shines. That tells you which part you'll be able to customize. So these are the sleeves. So again, I can change the color of the sleeves if I want. I can make it white, I can make it blue, I can make it whatever color I want. And then I'll be able to also add a pattern. Let's say I want bats on this one, or I want it's a sailor stuff. And you can increase the intensity of the of the pattern. So again, on the sleeves over here, let's say that I want it, uh, let's make it black so it stands out. I want a black, and I want pure intensity, and I want these dots, I want these these poharan thingies. Jesus, I'm really bad at making making uh, costumes. Then we can go to detail and detail again. It'll light up and tell you where it is. If you if you forgot where it is, you can click on this button, the preview button. I'll tell you where it changes. So it changes like the shoelaces and everything. Let's make it bright pink because why not? And then now we can change the accessory. The accessories are like the shoe, the actual shoe color. We can make that white. And now we've created a, mon a monstrosity. <laughs> And then we can finally go to head head adornment over here where you can actually change the physical color of this So, you know, I can make it gold if I want I can make it white if I want 
and then we can go to secondary secondary again is the color of the ribbons so i can change the color of the ribbon to whatever i want and you can even change your hair color well, let's say you're not happy with your character's hair color and you want to change it to you know something blue or you can make it turquoise or something then you can change it however i'm i'm happy with the my current hair color so i'm just gonna stick it with uh i'm gonna stick with blonde but you know you could change it to white, you can change it to black, you can change it. There's a lot more colors here that you can choose from than the original character creation. However, keep in mind, it will cost chromatic threads. So now with all those changes, you can see over here, it's going to cost me 22 chromatic threads and 9 gold in order to change all of these things. And if you have enough chromatic threads and enough gold, you can click here. This confirm outfit down here will light up and you'll be able to click on it and it'll save all the changes and your character will look exactly as you customized it but let's say you're not happy with it then you can just exit out and you can just switch to another costume and let's go to this one why not go to a bath towel and then uh, we can remove the headpiece and you know we can customize our bath towel now we can make it we can make it green we can make it blue whatever so there's a lot of customization in this and you can either use different poses you know you can use these pose you can do this pose you can do that pose etc so forth and so on but yeah that's pretty much it so that explains the tailor shop if you guys have any questions Go ahead ask me in the description below but basically chromatic threads you're gonna get a ton of them from daily dash you're gonna get a ton of them from events and you know you just save them up and it will take some time if you are 100 percent free to play however you do have access to the tailor shop and you can mess around with a lot of colors and a lot of um customization to make your character look fabulous so there's that anyway if this video helped i would appreciate a subscribe as it really does help out my channel and as always thanks for watching See you guys next time. Bye. Welcome. What can I say except you're welcome?